Hi everybody, welcome to episode 14. I am Michael Streeter and with my, uh, is it partner in crime? Partner in crime, whatever you want to say. Lover. Oh. Ew. Jerry Mina, or Gerard Mina. Many people know me as each and I'm going to really work on looking in the cameras. As what? They is know it? you as what? Each? each? Not, they don't know me as each. <laughs> They're huh? calling you each. <laughs> <laughs> this is my partner. Each. each. <laughs> I like that. I don't know where that came from. But so yeah, he's got to work on his camera skills because I do. Because I, I we got a we got a computer with a timer on it, so I keep looking at that all the time. And every when time I'm talking, I'm looking at the camera. And when I'm editing, I mean, he's like going here the video, there. yeah. But so it's episode fourteen. Episode thirteen is already in the books. You guys have already seen that. Yeah, but I would like to thank everybody for watching us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank and you. And we are continuing on. So um, we talk about well, we ramble a lot. We've noticed. We ramble, but we should talk. Michael and I were talking or texting or whatever and decided that we should talk more about the drink and the history of the drink, maybe the history of the spirits that we're using in the drink, and the music. We should speak a little bit more about the history and stuff of the music, which and, and, I'm really not prepared for. And I know that people like to hear, if we have stories of Copic. Oh, gosh. Or the, I shouldn't say just Copic, of the area. Yes. And we would love it if anybody, uh, any of you have any great stories that involve... Oh, would love it. We'll talk about it on here. Even if you want to record it on your phone, send it to us. We'll put it on the episode. We'll, we'll put it in the episode, absolutely. Because That's I, a great idea, by the way. Have, I, well, I was hoping the episode, the defunct episode you 13. You just gave me a great idea, but I'm not going to No, I have an right idea now. for episode, the, the, the drunken defunct <laughs> episode 13. I just came up with a good one. I did do, but <laughs> that, uh, quick, <laughs> quick story, not to get sidetracked as we always do. We should That's call this sidetrack. Yeah, uh, Instrumental sidetrack. After we, after we filmed all this stuff, this is like last week. I come downstairs and I go to Sandy. Go. So what's for dinner? And she goes, Can't you talk normal? <laughs> I, said, I, I love that accent. I do it all the time. I, said, I can anymore. That's just it. It's like, just the way I do. You know. You know the thing is, um, there are people that talk like that around here. Why? Well, that's that's a great question. I mean, we're two hours north of New York City. You got people talking like I this. Is, I think the Mason Dixon line's down in Ankrum. It could it could be. <laughs> it was a deliverance shot down there. I think it might be. Yeah. Well, listen, there's a banjo down there. We're not we're not being dis, we're not disparaging Ankrum now. Ankrum's a good people. Disparaging? What kind of word is that? I don't know, but everyone says it when they're talking bad about. I don't know why I won't look at this for but. Have you ever been like, I don't know if it's still there, but the Ankrum Dale sign? Someone spray painted over Ankrum and put Zombie Dale? <laughs> that was years ago. No. Oh, I gotta find out. If we could if we could take a picture of that. Let me tell you a quick story, okay. if you don't mind. We were talking about Copa. Oh, this is the prank. I'll tell you about that prank. Right, well, it just came to me. We'll, we'll get to that. Okay, you want me to go? We'll, go ahead. Talk about what well, you do, what you gotta do. We'll go right into this quick little news item. There was a woman that was peeing on produce in Walmart. Yeah, what is wrong with you? And she people? was caught on camera. And then, of course, the other people licking ice cream. Why? Is it just being disgusting? Disgusting, or is it a prank? What kind of prank is that? That's not a prank. So, what kind of prank did you do? You remember doing? I just I don't know if as a kid or as an adult. It just came to me and Darren Miller used to hang out all the time. We were like the best of friends, and I don't know if we was old enough to drink or not. But anyway, we were never old. We were probably old enough to drink at the time. It was late, two o'clock in the morning. I think we just got out of the Copa again or whatever it was. Copa back then it was dead after. Nine. There was nothing really around. Like except, for, except for either JJ's or... Right, if you were in the bar. Yeah. This is back when King's. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. we go down... I don't know what the hell... We No, this had to be in the 70s. We walked down to the... Um, were you 13? I might have been. We walked down to the... Uh, <laughs> and we were probably still drunk. Walked down to the uh, Copic Theater at the time that was there. It's burnt down. Mm-hmm. And it had a movie on there. Don't know what it was. And Darren and I had an idea. And we went back... The Circle Deli, Jack's, and we got milk crates so we could get up because Darren's a big tall guy yeah, anyway. But we, we didn't have a ladder with us, so we got these milk crates. And Darren took off all the letters off. But you know, we didn't steal them; we laid them down. But because uh-huh. yeah, the marquee or whatever it was. And it, Alan it, didn't see you do that. This was at two o'clock in the, the morning. morning. Yeah, but they were showing those rock and roll movies back then. No, they weren't showing that night. Okay. So we take all the things down, and Darren puts up. And maybe some people that might remember this. My sister almost ran off the road. He put up what you know what's what's playing and it had eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish you had phones or something? Oh, I wish you would have taken a picture of that. <sighs> My sister like, because whenever you went by there, you wanted to see what was playing, and it was eat shit. <laughs> that was my prank. Yeah, I mean, I did the one. 
I just and when when my wife came up with this idea about the whole prank thing, yeah, and I'm drinking, I, I, I'm drinking, thinking that what would pop into my head. Years ago, we went camping. The Westlakes owned a cabin up in the Adirondacks. Uh, it was called they called it the Ritz, but it was up toward Dolgeville or Little Falls up that way, Amsterdam that yeah, way. Okay. You know the Beach Nut Factory. If you took a oh know, yeah 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 up that way. Backwoods, whatever. And I remember it was myself, you know, we had a bunch of like Ferrucci, Paul Ferrucci, Sean, God knows who, and we, of course, were making chocolate chip cookies, and what do I do? I melt x lax You know, you didn't really put it in there, did you? <laughs> you son of a bitch. I know, I, it's come back to bite me many other times, but... So people started shitting themselves, or really had to go to the bathroom bad? Well, you know, we made the little small batch of cookies, and, you know, everybody ate them. You're waiting. And you're waiting. Yeah, and I mean, waiting. I'm waiting. And going, all of a sudden, like, someone runs out of the cabin. <laughs> Unfortunately, like, for, like, a couple people, I won't mention any names, didn't hit them until, like, the uh, I-90 on the way home. And I remember I remember <laughs> oh, being in the bathroom. Oh, my God. And they're in the stalls going, fuck you, streeter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've done other pranks. That's a, that's a bad prank. Yeah, yeah, but I've done other pranks that were funny, too. But that was the one that just jumped out. Yeah. And, that's know. a great prank, but it's not a funny no. prank. No, it's funny to you. It's funny to me. You know, who would have thought, you know. So, today's drink... Yeah, we didn't talk about the drink yet. No, I know. We got... Oh, good, good. So, today's drink is... My wife did some research for me because we were trying to... We're still on the summertime... Good Lord, she just put a, a baby bottle for him on that. Yeah, yeah right. Put a nipple on there. I put a nipple on anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> she came up with the uh, a, a Kentucky sweet tea. Did she make this up herself? Or she, no, she, it. she did research. She sent me all the stuff and all that. So I'm just looking at the uh, ingredients now. It's basically uh, like one part of uh, peach tree schnapps liqueur. Is that what's in here? There is some kind of peach tree? It's not or peach, peach tree schnapps. It's, peach it's, a, it's a, for our mix, it's a peach something that's been sitting in our garage with the labels I'm aware of. Never opened though. Okay. It was really good. We made those, whatever we made that one time. You weren't there for that, but... And it has two parts of Jim Beam, so that sort of saves the old... You should be holding on to your Jim Beam. I know, we already talked about that. Because that is gold right there, my friend. And then you got three parts of sweet tea. We put Snapple in it. We bypassed Lemon Wedge. We got lime in it. We held over from the last episode. And by the way, the last episode, we had mojitos. You can see the... We have lime and mint in the bottom of it. It's delish. I I thought it was basil. Um, Yeah, yeah. really. What do you do with the basil? It's, It's mint. Minta. 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 So that's our drink, and it is... It's very tasty. It is tasty. And the straws, you know, have any, has anybody heard the rumor about straws? Oh. Do, do they, besides, kill, besides killing turtles and poking out your eyes? Really? But do they get you drunker if you suck down the drink fast? I don't know how that... No. Do you drink your drink faster? What? Oh. Through the nose? Do you drink your drink faster with a straw? You do. Oh, well, maybe that's... I think that's what it is. Because you saw me with the mojito. I'm going to start out. You got your music ready. You know what you're doing. My music's going to be... Uh, you're sure? Yes, it's Bad Out of Hell. You're not going to like throw me for it? No, no, no. It's Bad Out of Hell by uh, Meatloaf. Don't, don't let By you... Meatloaf! By Meatball! <laughs> <laughs> don't let your Meatloaf... Are you not... Are you going to throw me a See, I threw him off last time. Well, I was planning on doing something, but then I threw in... I almost, I, you almost did it. You changed it tonight. I did change it. He started I, I out really with didn't... Billy Don't Be a Hero. But I didn't have a lot of time to prepare you for... Did. I was weed whacking all day, and I said, "What am I going to do?" And I, I, I don't even have that much time to I think about it. Spotify. On, and I said, That's "Oh, did you?" So my music, which you know, in the last episode we talked about Frampton, which Frampton comes alive is a great freaking album. The whole album's fantastic, yeah. and there's not many albums that you can say that. At least for me, you know, there's one or two, three, four we songs. We an episode about what albums are every. There's not a crapper. Well, this one is not a crapper. No. This one is Bad Out of Hell, Meatloaf. About 1976 or so. Was it six? It might have been later. I think it was like... It was before the 80s, so maybe... Oh, it was definitely yeah. before the 80s. Yeah. And uh, the whole album was fantastic. I mean, um, they the, the big hit on that was um, uh, by the Dash Force. So I have a... No, and it was, no, his big, big, big hit was... Crying no. Out Loud. No. He's got all the words. Two out of three ain't bad, I think is the... No, I think uh, Paradise with the Dash Force Light would well, kill yeah, it. Well, yeah, because Phil Rizzuto... Uh, yeah, it's great. It's there great. he is, around the holy cow. He's running time. He's gonna hit him. I think he's gonna make it. I think he's gonna get a hot <laughs> Great song for crying out loud. I love Bad Out of Hell. Bad Out of Hell. You know what Bad Out of Hell reminds me of? 
is there's this huge introduction of instrumentals, which is always great. Well, have you listened to Elton John's Funeral for a Friend? One, I love that song. I shouldn't say one of my favorites, but I love that song. That song is another huge yeah, instrumental you, until you get into... I always like like songs that, that build. Get, that start soft. And yeah. Like, boom, boom, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Or build. Yep, yep. Yeah. So Battle to Hell, it has, you know, as far as the way it's set up, yes. is this long instrumental. And then the piano. I'm, 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 not, I'm not talking like... I'm talking long. Yeah, and then the piano's coming down. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta listen to that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I had to strike a serious pose for crap's sake. So again, uh, we are going to. We, I don't think we mentioned. Did we mention in this one or last episode? Is that uh, we're filming two today? This is the second one. This, this is, is fourteen. This is number two. This is fourteen. Yeah, number 14. two. Uh, Michael and I are playing. This, Dougie, Doug, did we say this in this one or the last? No, one? the last episode. Okay. We did. Well, we're, we're playing in the Dougie Dodds uh, tournament, which you said is the last one. Possibly the last Dougie. Yeah, this Dougie. will be the last Dougie Dodds. They're saying that's what Wendy was saying. So we're hoping to get a lot of material or enough material. And then we'll put a boost rental together just we'll, from that. We'll scrape it all together from that whole day. I think that's a great idea because you're going to be away. I'm going to be away. Yeah, it's summertime. And by the way, tee off is at 8.30. Are you serious? 8.30 in the morning. We're not starting drinking then, though. Yes. Are you serious? Well, actually, as you know, as I told Michael, um, I've been having an issue with my back, my ribs. But I've been going to a car. I'm not making excuses. I, I suck at golf to begin with. It just makes me worse. So all we need you is just to be there and the oh, yeah. putt or so. I'll putt. And I'll, I'll swing. The Remember the old, the old three stuff. Here's the mic going. Hey, Mike can't talk anymore. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so the old three stooges line was, how long have you had a week back? About a week back. Oh, God. Thank you very much. Oh, that one down at the very bottom. Oh, that one. You can twist it, twist it, twist it. Twist it? Which no, one? not that one. The the, the, the round, the, the, the hand piece right above it. Right, right. No, keep going. Right there. Technical difficulties. Oh, go down, go down. That Ew. thing right there where you just had your finger on. Twist it. Oh, just get it. We didn't even end it, did we? No, we haven't. We've been blabbering it on. We can cut all this shit out. Okay, well, let's get look professional and go. Okay. All right, so... Can... Wait a second. Go. All right, so we've been rambling on to talk of it, so yeah. you probably didn't see most of it, but here's looking up your old address, and but... we'll... <laughs> Don't my, meatball, my meatball! My <laughs> meatball!